Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution uh, to discuss further into Bezier curves. And I just want to go over a brief history on it just because I found it pretty interesting. And uh, if you haven't already, please check out my uh, earlier videos on a laboratory project, Bezier curves. And I'll put those in a link below in the description. So let's look, take a look at these Bezier curves, just a brief history. So this is a Wikipedia page of it. This is a, a cubic Bezier curve. I'll just put cubic here. This is the one I, I dealt with. This has four control points, and then as you move these around, etc., and then the shape of this cubic Bezier curve in this particular one. A cubic one has four control points like that, but there's other types of Bezier curves. But basically, the idea is you can move these around, and then the sh the curve changes, and it's like it's very good for graphing curves and smooth surfaces. Etc. So let's look at this uh, from Wikipedia. Bezier curve, pronounced Bezi, Bezi. Okay, I guess I've been pronouncing it wrong. Is a parametric curve frequently used in computer graphics and related uh, fields. Generalizations of Bezier curves to higher dimensions are called Bezier surfaces, of which the Bezier triangle is a special case. In vector graphics, Bezier curves are used to model smooth curves that can be scaled indefinitely. Paths, as they are commonly referred to in image manipulation programs, are com combinations of linked Bezier curves. Paths are not bound by the limits of rasterized images and are intuitive to modify. See, I'm not sure <laughs> what all that means, but anyways. But anyways, uh, basically Bezier curves are used to model uh, smooth surfaces in a lot of uh, different uh, fields. And basically Bezier curves are also used in, in the time domain, particularly in animation, user interface, design and smoothing, uh, cursor, trajectory and eye gaze controlled interfaces. Okay, that's pretty cool. For example, a Bezier curve can be used to specify the velocity over time of an object such as an icon moving from A to B rather than simply moving at a fixed number of pixels per step. And basically that's pretty much the whole idea of parametric equations. You have a third parameter controlling the shape of the, the curve, etc. So when animators or, in, or interface designers talk about the physics or feel of an operation, they may be referring to the particular Bezier curve used to control the velocity over time of the object in motion, which is cool. Yeah, that's pretty much parametric equations. If you were to graphing a, a shape like this, etc., the the extra parameter can control the speed. You might go slow, then fast, and slow, etc., and then you could use this in design pretty uh, pretty readily. And uh, this also applies to robotics, where the motion of a welding arm, for example, should be smooth to avoid an unnecessary where so yes yeah, so controlling the speed of it so in another application is in <laughs> robotics which is pretty cool so the mathematical basis for Bezier curves the Bernstein polynomial has been known since 1912 but its application to graphics was not realized for another half century Bezier curves were widely publicized in 1962 by the French engineer Pierre Pierre Bezier or Bezier who used you use them to uh, to design automobile uh, bodies at Renault, the uh, car manufacturing company? The study of these curves was, however, first developed in 1959 by the mathematician Paul de Cast Casteljo using the Casteljo algorithm and a numerically uh, stable method to evaluate Bezier curves at Cit uh, Citroen, another French automaker. Yeah, so basically, even though it was named after uh, Pierre Bezier, because uh, he pu widely publicized it, uh, he wasn't actually the founder. These were first developed by this guy, Paul de Cachot. So here's from a uh, Wikipedia page for Bez Pierre Bezier. Bezier, here's how he looks like. And uh, Pierre Etienne Bezier, born from September 1st, 1910, uh, up to 1999 over there. And basically was a French engineer and one of the founders of the fields of solid geometric and physical modeling as well as in the field of representing curves, especially in CAD and uh, CAM systems. I believe that's a computer-aided design, that's computer-aided uh, motion, I assume. Systems as an engineer at Reynolds, he became a leader in the transformation of design and manufacturing through mathematics and computing tools into computer-aided design and three-dimensional modeling. Bezier, Bezier uh, patented and popularized the Bezier curves and Bezier services that are now used in most computer-aided design and computer graphic systems. 
So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's patented and popularized it, and then yeah, it's, it's still widely used even now in a lot of uh, CAD design. So Bezier, uh, yeah, I'm just used too used to calling it Bezier. I don't know why. Uh, it's just hard. Bez, Bezier, Bezier. Uh, I'll stick to Bezier. Sorry if uh, that uh, that discourages you or you don't like that. <laughs> I just. I think that's the only way I can move on. So anyways, Bezier popularized but did not actually create the Bezier curve using such curves to design automobile bodies. The, the curves were first developed in 1959 by Paul de Casteljo using de Casteljo's algorithm, a numerically stable method to evaluate Bezier curves. The curves remain widely used in computer graphics to model smooth surfaces. Bezier developed a notation consisting of nodes with attached control handles which the curves are represented in computer systems again like the control points etc the control handles define the shape of the curve on either side of the common node and can be manipula manipulated by the user via the software Bezier curves were adopted as a standard curve of the postscript language and subsequently were adopted by vector programs such as Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw and Inkscape most outline fonts, including true type and postscript type one, are defined with the Bezier curve. Yeah, so even types, uh, I mean uh, letters and other other ways like that. Yeah, or other fonts uh, are used uh, or defined with Bezier curve. So again, extending its application. Even uh, Adobe Illustrator, that's pretty cool. So it uses that as well. And and I'll look at that. The actual uh, developer of the Bezier curves, or the founder, or the first to develop, Paul de Casteljo, is from also his Wikipedia page. Is how he looks like. I believe he's still alive. So Paul de Casteljo, Cast born 1930 in, in uh, Besacon, uh, Besacon, France, is a French physicist and mathematician. In 1959, while working at Citroën, another uh, car manufacturer, he developed a, an algorithm of, for evaluating uh, calculations on a certain family of curves, which would later be formalized and popularized by engineer Pierre Bezier. So he developed them, but he didn't actually formalize them or popularize them until this guy did it. And the curves called the Casteljo curve or Bezier curves, and the de Casteljo's algorithm is is widely used with some modifications, as it is the most robust and numerically stable method for evaluating polynomials. Other methods, such as Horner's method and forward differencing, are faster for calculating single points but are less robust. De Casteljo's algorithm is still very fast for dividing a De Casteljo curve or Bezier curve into two curve segments at an arbitrary parametric location. So anyways, that's just uh, another uh, uh, more advanced mathematics. But it's used to dissect the Bezier curves or the De Casteljo curve in many ways, especially in computer aided design. And uh, yeah, moving forward, so Pat uh, Paul de Casteljo received the 2012 Bezier, oh, uh, Bezier Award from the Solid Modeling Association, SMA. The SMA's announcement highlights de Casteljo's uh, eponymous uh, algorithm. Uh, that just means the first to develop. So Paul de Casteljo's contributions are less widely known than should be the case because he was not able to publish them. Oh, that's interesting, until equivalent ideas had been re reinvented independently by others, sometimes in a rather different form, but now recognizably related. Because he was not permitted to publish his early work, we now call polynomials with a Bernstein basis Bezier polynomials, although Bezier himself did not use control points, but their first difference vectors as the coefficients. Uh, we also called the multilinear polynomials blossoming following uh, Lille Ramshaw, who in turn credited uh, de Casteljo with the underlying polar approach to the mathematical theory of spleens or splines. We do call the uh, we do call the algorithm for the stable evaluation of the Bernstein Bezier form for polynomials de Casteljo algorithm, although it is Carlo de Boer's more general re result applying it to B splines or spleens, which is now widely used in CAD systems. So interesting. So. <laughs> So uh, he founded the Bezier curves, but he is, the name was was taken away from him, and then Bezier got that, but now he's getting the Casteljo's algorithm, even though uh, this other guy's more general result is being used. Interesting stuff. <laughs> it's karma at play. So the SMA also quotes Bez Pierre Bezier on the Casteljo contributions. So here's a quote from him. There is no doubt that, that Citroën was the first company in France that paid attention to CAD. As early as 1958, Paul de Casteljo, a highly gifted mathematician, devised a system based on the use of Bernstein polynomials. 
The system devised by de Castelgio was oriented towards translating already existing shapes into patches defined in terms of numerical data. Due to Citroën's policy, the uh, results obtained by, by de Castelgio were not published until 1974. Oh, that's interesting. So the company worked for uh, the car manufacturer didn't let him publish it uh, until later. So that's why Pierre, Pierre Bizier got the credit for popularizing it. And uh, this excellent mathematician was def deprived of part of the well-deserved fame that his discoveries and inventions should have earned him. So this is the guy that it's named after, giving credit to who uh, he thinks it should have been named after. So uh, now here's also a quick YouTube video I just want to show from, uh, this is from Tutorials Up, posted last year, how to use Bezier Surface in SketchUp. And basically here's a cool example of using Bezier Surfaces and Curves in Computer Aided Design or CAD, so let's show you, it's pretty cool. So let's just click it. Yeah, so we're here, let's just play it. As you can see, it's moving. Uh, put the volume down. Yeah, it's, it's making some crazy shape like that just by moving these control points around. Yeah, I haven't used this program before, but it. But you basically get the idea. He's creating 3D shapes by moving specific control points, and this is for a busier surface because it's multi-dimensional as opposed to just the standard busier curves on one plane. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see from that, it was pretty cool. And let's go back here. Actually, let's just stick back here. So as you can see, just basically moving these uh, points around, you can change a shape. So it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So basically, the back end of these curves uses these busier surfaces, and and it just shows you the the crazy power of it. You can make these super smooth surfaces like that all by just moving these control points around. Then you can copy and paste, make. And yeah, as you can see from here, you can just get further and further make absolutely crazy shapes and stuff like that. So anyways, that's all for today. If you'll learn from this just quick uh, history lesson on the Bezier curve as well, that, as well as that example on the 3D modeling capabilities of it uh, all being used in 3D modeling and other stuff like that. Anyways, that's all for today. If you'll learn and uh, yeah, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and uh, also... Yeah, and also here I quickly changed this, this URL. Uh, I started a, a Gold Money affiliate account, so if you can just click this and sign up for your own Gold Money, I, I get a small percentage of that, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I suggest everybody just get some <laughs> get some uh, Gold Money because uh, I believe it might do pretty well. And as, yeah, it's pretty cool currency. Anyways, check it out. And anyways, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.